Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a different type of video for you guys. So this video got requested a lot surprisingly and I was trying to think of things that I should have a story time for because I normally, I don't do nothing literally with my life. If you guys know me in person, you know, pretty lame, I don't do nothing but I finally came up with this one and it is a story time. So I'm going to be doing a story time on the time I met Justin Bieber. So uh, before you guys get all rude at me in the comments like, oh that's not even really meeting him. I've been a Justin Bieber fan for literally the longest. I've been a Justin Bieber fan since I was way back in 5th grade. So uh, this experience I got with meeting him is pretty close and I'm going to call it just meeting him. So it was back in last April um, in 2016 and I went to his concert. This was the second concert I went to of his. I went to his um, very first concert with that he had here and then I went to his Purpose Tour, his most recent one. And I was super excited. I went with my mom and it was just a really fun night. I think it started at 7 o'clock I believe. So we got to the stadium, you know, we went to his concert. My seats were pretty close. They were closer than they were the first time so I was really excited. I watched the whole concert, you know, and then the concert was over pretty late. It was over like at 11 o'clock. And when we got there, it was pretty early. I got there like at 4 because the line was so long. Like, it was ridiculous. Ridiculously long. If you've ever been to a Justin Bieber concert, you probably know how crazy the lines are. I mean, if you talk about Justin Bieber, you know how crazy it gets. So we were there for a good while. We were there since like 4 o'clock. And I just remember standing in line before we even got in forever. And the radio stations were there and everyone was there. So when I finally got in, I got to the concert, you know, I watched the whole concert, we watched the opening acts, and that was really fun, and I'll have some clips insert in at the end of this video if you guys would like to see that. So anyways, I watched the whole concert, you know, I didn't have no meet and greet tickets, which I was super upset about. I think at this point, this is when he already cancelled the meet and greet, I believe, where he was like, okay, I'm not having a meet and greet no more. I'm not sure if it was before or after, but I didn't have the meet and greet, so I was pretty bummed out. But I remember from the first time after, when we stood after his concert the first time, like um, on the stadium, you could see where the tour buses were. So I knew where they were from the last time. So the first time we didn't get to see him there, but everyone still waited after. So this time after the concert was over, we went and stood outside, and there was already a huge crowd there, but everyone was leaving the concert, like all the cars were leaving and everything, so we were just standing in a big crowd, and there was about like 30 people there with me, and we were all standing on the side, so uh, um, how the stadium set up is like, on this side right here was like the stadium, and the tour buses are right here, and then the street was right here, and then we were on this side of the street, and there was all kinds of security guards, and there was like the chain that was holding us back, and there was all kinds of cars leaving, so the traffic was just crazy. We stood there for about a good 20 minutes. You could see the tour buses there. You've seen all them getting settled in in the tour bus. And then before, you know, I was just standing there, you know, and I was like, okay, maybe no one's going to come out. Maybe it's going to be like, last time, you know, he's tired from the concert, so I was assuming maybe he's not going to come out. And then, like, I turned my head for a second, and everyone screaming went off running. So I was like, what's going on? So, like, there's all kinds of secu security guards there. Like, the security was really strict there, so everyone was like, hey, hey, stop. Like, everyone was yelling and screaming, and it was crazy. So I went running, and my mom was like, go. And then I, I went running. And I dropped my phone. I dropped my phone as I was ready. And I was like, wow, that was that was real smart. So my phone went flying. And, like, there's all these screaming girls coming at me, like, running over there. And I was like, well, great. I might get a chance to meet him when my phone goes flying. So my phone went flying. And I had to go get it. And then when I got over there, Justin Bieber was literally right there. He was, like, right there. And I was so excited. I was so excited to see him. But everyone was screaming. It was just crazy. He was, he was like, literally right there. Um... He was with one of his friends, so I forget his name, Post, Post Malone, Post Malone was right there with him. They were standing right there, and they were standing there talking for a minute. Before he came up to us, he was standing like off like a little bit back. There was still a chain and all the security was blocking it, but he was like right there. He was just talking to Post Malone, and then, um, and then he came over to us and he was talking, and all the girls just kept screaming. They were just being crazy. They were literally all screaming so loud and it was so annoying. And he was like, hey, hey, like, calm down, please. Like, I'll talk to you guys. But you guys just need to calm down. And no one would, like, be quiet. I was, like, thinking to my like, please just be quiet so he can sit and talk to us, you know. So I was like, okay, well, he wants us to be quiet, so I'm going to be quiet, you know. I was obviously excited. I had adrenaline running through me, like... This is the first time, like, I was, like, literally so close to him. Like, I waited the whole concert. I didn't even 
get a meet and greet, and I'm literally this close to him. So, you know, we're standing there, and he's like, okay, you guys need to come down. Like, come on, calm down. And no one was coming down. Everyone was just getting louder and screaming. Like, I'm telling you, these people there were annoying. If you're, like, watching this video and you were there, you guys should have been quiet because he would have been able to talk to us and actually get real pictures with us. But, like, no one was being quiet. So it was just like, oh, my gosh. Like, you guys have no consideration. So you could tell he was getting irritated. You could obviously tell by his face. He was irritated at that point, you know. So, like... This is the part where I want to say I met him. So I like, I put my hand out because I have my phone recording. You guys will see in a clip at the end of this video. And then like, you know, he like shook my hand. Not like shook, but like, you know, grabbed it. And to this day, I'm like, <sighs> he touched his hand. So, you know, it was pretty cool. You know, like no one wants to believe me. Like you don't have to believe me if you don't want to. That's that's what happened at the end of the concert. Um, there was no mean greet. So after that happened, like he stood there for a minute. Um, lots of people, you know, were screaming, taking videos. At that point, I felt like he was just really irritated. You know, he didn't really want to talk. He was just like, hey, hey, calm down. Like after the girls like wouldn't be quiet for a while, and that whole crowd, he got irritated. And, you know, he eventually like walked away and he moved back a little bit more, like behind the gate, like the chain thing, and then like all the security was in front of it. So he moved back and he was talking there for a while and we were standing there for a while because we were like oh come back you know and like everyone was standing up against the fence there was like a wood fence there and everyone was standing against it and they were standing there waiting and then like everyone started singing his songs um to get him to come back but I feel like at that point he was just irritated so it was just like a quick a high and real quick you know I feel like it could have been more like I said if everyone wasn't so chaotic he would have not have gotten so irritated so quick and I feel like you know, we could have got a better chance to have a conversation with him because, like he said, you know, he wants to get treated like a normal human, you know, he wants to have an actual conversation with us and not just like, hey, can I get a picture in that, um, so I did get a quick video of him real quick. My mom's phone was died out and the camera was died out, so the only thing I got is on my phone, so the quality is pretty terrible, but that's basically what happened, and by this time it was already 12 o'clock, so before he even came out to us, it was like a whole good 30 minutes before everyone took off to go see him, you know, and it was just chaotic. It was a quick little thing, you know, everyone was standing there. It was a huge crowd. Those girls are crazy there. Everyone that was there, like, everyone was pushing and shoving, and I was just like, oh my gosh, like, chill out. So, you know, I'm really thankful that I got to touch his hand, you know. I don't really want to say, like, I met him. I mean, it's something to me that I'm going to say I met him because, like, I touched his hand. So, that's technically me, you know. So, before you guys, like, all attack me in the comments, like, oh, that's not meeting him. You didn't meet him. I, I recommend a meeting. But, yeah, that's basically everything that happened. Um, not much to the story, you know. Just a quick hi thing after the concert and I seen him, I touched his hand, that I met Justin Weaver. So I hope you guys liked this video. It was kind of an awkward story time, I feel because I never had a story time before. But if you guys did, could you guys please give this video a big thumbs up and make sure to hit subscribe. And a little disclaimer, I want to thank you guys so much for getting me to 700 subscribers. So I recently reached 700 from my last video and I just want to thank you guys. I feel like like two videos ago I was just saying thank you for 600 and now I'm at 700 and I'm so very thankful. So thank you guys all so much for subscribing. I just want to thank you guys for that. I hope you guys like this story time. And if you guys want to see any other videos, please comment down below some video suggestions and I'll be sure to do them. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.